Welcome to the Heart of a Viking. These are art projects taught by the elementary art teachers from the Cape Henlopen School District in Delaware. We hope you have fun, create imaginative works of art, and make sure you share them with someone because after all, visual arts are meant to be seen. Hello Cape Artists and welcome back to another edition of the Heart of a Viking. If you remember, I'm Mrs. Minto, the teacher at HOB, and today we're going to be rocking our socks. I don't know if you notice my cool pencil socks here, but today we're going to be creating a design for a new pair of socks. So the reason that we're doing this project today is because today is actually March 21st, and March 21st every year is dedicated to World Down Syndrome Day. So in honor of all the people with Down Syndrome, we rock our socks, and today we're gonna be rocking our new designs for some socks. So all you need for today's project is a piece of paper, some colorful art supplies, and your creativity. So grab your art making supplies, your creativity, and I'll meet you in our art making space in just a few moments. All right, here we are back at our art creating space, and um, I just need to gather a few simple supplies to get the project started for today. So today we need just a piece of paper to do our artwork on. We need a pencil to help us with some drawing. We need maybe some markers and maybe some colored pencils or crayons, whatever you have to add some color to your picture in the end. All right, so... Next thing we need is a drawing of a foot, or a sock actually, but a foot to get started. So the easiest way to do this is to bring your foot to your piece of paper. Or at school, what we often do is bring our piece of paper down to our foot, it makes it a whole lot easier. Putting your paper on the floor and tracing your foot's easier than putting your foot on the table and tracing your foot there. So you're gonna take your foot and place it on your table or on your piece of paper so that it's lying sideways. You're not gonna step on it, you're gonna lie your foot down. And when I do this, I'm going to trace all the way from the very tippy top of my paper, so wherever that is right here for me, down the front side of my foot, around my toes, and around the bottom of my foot. And if you have smaller feet, you'll be able to fit more of your like leg or this part of your leg on there. But my foot's pretty large, so I was only able to get most of my foot there. All right, then I need a really fun, funky design for my rocking my socks. So I think I'm gonna go with two of my favorite things, which are stripes and polka dots. So I'm gonna start at the top of my uh, foot sock here and trace and draw some lines that go the whole way across. I don't know if you notice, but I'm making my lines a little bit rounded. They're not perfectly straight. What that will do is that will give my leg and my finished drawing a little bit more of a 3D effect. So by not putting the lines perfectly straight, by giving them that little bit of a smile to them, it's gonna make my leg actually look round when I'm all done. After my lines there, I think I'll add a couple of polka dots, just like that. And then maybe I'll go back to lines. I always like the way that um, on many socks, they have a different colored heel. So I'm just gonna draw a line across here and color the heel part of my sock a different color. And then these lines are just gonna continue down the rest of the sock like that. And I'm actually gonna be making a pattern. So for me to make a pattern, I need one, two, three, four lines. One, two, three, I don't have enough. But I left kind of a big space here, so I think I'll just put my fourth one right there. Perfect. And then after my four lines, I need one, two, three of the circles. So one, two, three. And I'm just gonna keep rocking that pattern all the way down, two, three, four, one, two, three, and I'm just about there. Three, four, and I think I'm actually gonna leave the toe empty as well because a lot of times the toe has a different color on it too. So I'm gonna leave the toe, but you can continue your design all the way down the toe if you want. To help with that 3D um, that I was talking about before with the lines, I'm actually gonna use a combination of markers and my colored pencils. I really do like markers. A lot of my students at HOB love markers as well because their colors are so beautiful and bold. So when I color in with a marker, I get this beautiful, bold color. However, if I'm able to use a colored pencil, I'm able to create a little bit of shading. So this is how I'm going to help to create that 3D look of my foot 
on my piece of paper. So I don't know if you can tell already, but I'm pressing a little harder with my colored pencils on the end to make it a little bit darker there. And as I get closer to the middle of my line, I'm going to start pressing a little softer, a little softer, and then eventually just fill it in and connect the two sides. That darkness on the end is gonna act as a shadow, making it look like it's going around my foot. So pretty cool little artist trick there. And I can do it with any color, but I can't do it with markers because markers don't allow me to press harder and softer. Only colored pencils and crayons will allow me to do that. So I'm going to continue to color on my sock design here as you hopefully continue to work on yours too. All right, boys and girls, I think my design is finished. And the last thing that I wanna do is something I often do at school um, when I like a piece of artwork and I really wanna highlight it. What I'm going to do is trace the outside edge. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie. You could also use a regular black marker or you could use a black colored pencil or black crayon. Um, and all I'm gonna do is go right around the edges here. I love tracing with Sharpie on, on projects like this because it draws emphasis. It helps to create an appearance that this is the most important thing on this work of art and I really want my audience, the people who look at my art, to pay attention to this. I could even go a little further if I wanted to and trace all the lines that I had drawn as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I like the way that looks even around my circles. All right, there we go. That's our finished product. So after that, you're all done. If you wanted, one last thing you could do is cut it out if you'd like to. I think I'm gonna leave mine just on the paper and add one little thing right over here in this big empty space that says, rock your socks. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed creating with us today. Um, see you back here next time and make sure you share your art with somebody.